Hey, it's Tasha from Kaleidoscope Living here. Today in this video, I am gonna walk you through how to paint and stencil an outdated backsplash that you don't love for an incredible looking update on a teeny tiny budget. So let's dive right in. So this painted tile backsplash is a project that we tackled in my good friend Tia's kitchen. I just recently shared the full reveal of her kitchen makeover on my blog. I will link to that for you in the description. But let's just walk through it step by step. Step one is going to be to clean whatever tile backsplash you have with TSP. I'm gonna link to TSP along with all the other materials that you need to complete this project in the description below the video. So be sure to check that out. Step two is to prime your backsplash with one coat of all-purpose primer. Now, it's gonna look like a hot mess after this step, but don't freak out, just keep on going. This is how it's supposed to look. Step three is going to be to paint your backsplash with General Finishes Milk Paint until you have full coverage. Now, we used a white base coat. I did a custom mixture of the Snow White and Antique White colors, and it took us three coats to get full coverage, but each coat moves really, really quickly and this paint also dries quickly. So don't be intimidated if you need multiple coats. Step four is to start stenciling. So you wanna apply your stencil with painter's tape and use a stenciling brush to apply whatever color you have chosen for your stencil pattern. Now, I will link you to the stencil that we used um, I do want to point out that Tia's individual tiles were three and a half inches square. So I actually custom ordered a stencil that was exactly seven inches. Uh, but if your tiles are a more common size, like four inches or eight inches, you will be able to just order one of the pre-made stencils. So after you position your stencil and get it in place, here are my stenciling tips. The biggest and most important one to remember is that less paint is better. So I would dip my stenciling brush in the black paint and then offload most of the paint onto a paper towel just by dabbing it before I would start stenciling. Then the other thing you really wanna remember is that you wanna use a straight up and down motion so that you're not accidentally angling the brush to one side or the other. If you do that, you will get a lot of bleeding under the stencil, which you don't want. So one thing you'll notice is that we completed as many of the full stencil tiles as we could. And again, the full stencil covered four tiles. Once we did all of those and we had only one row of tiles, we cut the stencil in half and continued to work around the room. And at the very, very end, we actually had teeny tiny pieces of the stencil to help us work in little nooks and crannies that we had to get the pattern into as well. Y'all, stenciling is happening, and I'm into it. I made a mistake there, so I painted over that. But how freaking good is that looking? Recall, I'm gonna share a before photo of this backsplash, just to remind you of the red, the red that was happening. Uh, in case you're wondering, we're doing all of the full stencils first, and then we're going. We're, then we'll be cutting the stencil to go back to finish. So it's not just going to be this one row. That would be super weird. All. Oh, can we take a moment? So now I've cut the stencil in half. We've done all the full stencils that we can, and now you can see it's the diamond pattern is really the pattern. So. So we don't have a complete one, but like when we do this one, that will complete the pattern. And I am so here for this. Oh, it's all happening. We're very, very happy. Tia, are we happy? We are very, very happy. I'm doing the detail part. Yes, Tia's doing the touch up. She's a lefty. That's why she's so cool. I'm basically, I'm basically like Michelangelo. Right? Basically. She's like, this is danger. <laughs> and the backsplash is still coming along. It's, I mean, it's a process, y'all. Stenciling is not hard at all. It is a process, and it is a slow process. It's not, it's not for the faint of heart. It is not for the faint of heart. Is this your first stenciling experience? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. I have to say, if you weren't here, I'd have given up like four hours. <laughs> Y'all, we're a little punch drunk at this point. We've been staring at the stencils all day. So at this point, we're in the part of the job where like we're like trimming down the stencils, which means Tia gets to help stencil now. It's not, it's not great. How do you feel about it? I feel not good at it. <laughs> and like I'm done after four, I did it four, four times, five times, six times, six times. That's my handiwork. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'm not saying it's bad. It's not great. Okay, y'all. <laughs> after the what feels like the longest day ever, the stenciling is 99.9% .9 complete. We still have a little bit of touch-up work. I still have to finish this tile right there. <laughs> it's just very tricky around the woodwork. Not easy. But it looks amazing. Your height difference. Hi. <laughs> I feel like a giant. Now you can see how short, how, what our height difference is here. She's not tall. Okay, thank you for submitting your questions about stenciling. <laughs> We're gonna stop. <snuggle. laughs> the only way we can both be in it. <laughs> Um, the most popular question by far was, are you going to seal it? Yes. Okay. Now, spoiler alert, y'all, I did this like five years ago, six years ago in my own kitchen. <laughs> so this is not my first rodeo yet. Everyone calm down. Everyone relax. <laughs> so we are sealing it. In fact, I, we, it's one of the jobs we're doing today. So we are sealing it. I'll show you the can. Calm down. It's called General Finishes High Performance Top Coat. We are using satin and we'll do at least two coats. Probably the area that's right in front of the kitchen sink, we'll do probably three coats. So I'm gonna take a picture of the can, hopefully. I'm gonna ask Tasha the questions. This is a QA. and a Tasha likes efficiency. Yes. Tasha. Yes. The people wanna know, can you scrub it? So I would not say you can like, I wouldn't take like a bristle brush and scrub it. You can absolutely wipe it down and use cleaning solution, but I wouldn't take a wire brush to it. <laughs> well, we're in luck because I don't clean that thoroughly. So it's a win-win. All right. It's a good fit. Okay. Question okay. number two. Yes. How did you do the corners? Mm, not well. It didn't get, it was, it was dicey. It took us as long to do the top ones and the corners as it did to do all the rest combined. It is not... I have no, I don't think there's a magic way to do the corners. It's Hold on, where's just the, hard. We have all these little pieces yeah, now that we that. had to use to like cut up somewhere, maybe not cut right. I don't want to point fingers at people, but <laughs> this is like a mini one because all these little tiny pieces were really hard. Really Some hard. we actually had to hand paint. And then this one, like going around this molding stuff, what do you call this? The bottom of the window, those were really tricky. Question number 19. three. Just kidding. No, we're just on three. What kind of paint do we use? Okay, let me start with the step one. What did you do, Tia? You cleaned Clean. TS TSP. TSP. Step two, we primed with regular, like Sherwin Williams general purpose primer. It's not magic primer. Um, then step three. <laughs> yes. Uh, Question three, used, step three. Yes, we used general finishes milk paint. Um, I did a hand mixed batch of snow white and antique white. Several, several batches. And we did three coats of that, right? Yes, three coats, which actually took, was not, it no, sounds like it's more so time consuming. so fast. And then we used actually Black Dog Salvage paint for the stencil part in coal black, I think was the name of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought it was called Black Dog. It was called Black Dog. JK. Yeah. But that's it's, also it's the brand. Just right there beside you. Oh. Yeah. It is called Black Dog. Oh, I like that. I liked that name. Because um, I have a Black Dog. And yeah. General finishes milk paint is not milk paint. It's a high quality acrylic paint. I don't know why they call it milk paint. It makes it very confusing. It's not dairy based. <laughs> well, it's not like the French method of milk painting. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, so. All right. So there you have it. There you have it. So there you have it, friends. That is how we completely transform Tia's shiny red backsplash that she hated to this beautiful modern black and white beauty for a few days work and under 50 bucks. 
Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. We're going to have a lot of tutorials coming from Tia's Kitchen, including how to paint the cabinets without even packing a single thing or removing the doors. We're also going to show you how we completely sanded and refinished her butcher block countertops. So be sure to subscribe to be notified when new videos are released. And also, if you are curious about the design process that I use, to come up with room designs like these, then I invite you to subscribe to my free design library, which you can access by going to kaleidoscopeliving.com slash subscribe.